if you're looking for some fast, cheap, and reliable NBA Live mobile coins, go on ahead and head to the coin sponsor at www.mmoorock.com. Use the promo code KEEK to get you 6% off your next purchase. You heard me? What is up, you two? It's your boy, Kiki Nation, and we back at it again with another video. Now, today, I guess you could call it a team update or maybe even a legacy team uh, insight. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. All I know is I got that 100 overall franchise, y'all. 100 overall. Basically, once you start the game, once we all started back, what was it? Uh, I don't know, a little before October, September, somewhere, August last year, somewhere around in there. This is what we are all shooting for, y'all. Everyone wanted, basically, you go from 0 to 100, but really you go from like 60 to 100. But the end goal is to get around that 99, that 100, that 102, that one, somewhere around there in the top, the top five that you can get. So I got the 100 overall franchise, y'all. We're going to run through this real quick, real fast. We got that boy Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, Metro Peace, Kevin Garnett, Rudy Gobert. Now, the best player I'd say in this lineup is Kevin Garnett, of course. The ultimate legend gives you two clutch abilities per game. The two-way power for it. 99 overall. Once again, ultimate legend Kevin Garnett, I would say, is the best player for there. Moving on to the small ball and my best lineup. We got that boy Jamal Crawford. Steve Francis, Julius Irvin, Vince Carter, and Alonzo Mourning. Now, to be honest, everybody knows who's the best card right here. Julius Irvin, best card in the game, so obviously going to be the best card in this lineup. But I do like to throw LeBron in there sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I love to play with the LeBron card because the ground for this LeBron card was just as real as grinding for this Julius Irvin. But, you know, I'm going to keep Julius Irvin in there most of the time, you know what I'm saying? But I do love to play with the Steve franchise car, especially with those boosts from Julius Irvin. He be going off ton of the boy be hitting shots from half court like it's nothing. That boy Steve Francis is extremely fun to play with, along with Jamal Crawford and them dunk abilities from Alonzo Mourning. I'm telling you, this lineup is just so fun to play with, y'all. I love playing head to head with this lineup. But moving on to the defensive line, we got that boy uh, playoff master level, what is it, level four, something like that? Uh... I guess it's like, yeah, level four gives you the plus four. So we got playoff matches, level four, Russell Westbrook. Then I get the 95. I wish. See, back then I was lazy. I was lazy. I didn't start grinding until, I didn't start grinding, grinding until they came out with them playoff stuff. When the playoff stuff came out, that's when your boy Kick really started grinding for players that he wanted. But I really should have grinded for this Russell Westbrook. I should have grinded for 94, Jeremy Lin, for Tracy. All them dudes, I should have been grinding for, y'all. It would have been easy. But I did not grind enough for his car, so I only got the 93. I did not have the full benefits of the 95. Man, I wish I could go back and just, just put that extra one or two hours in. I wasn't doing nothing. That extra one or two hours, man, it would have been lit. It was in the summer, too. So, man, I wish I could have grinded for this car. But we do got the 93. Don't got the 95. I'm going to run through his stats. You already know what it is. We got that boy Fred Brown. We got that boy Bernard King. Draymond Green. And we got Shaquille O'Neal. One of my favorite cards in this game. I remember when I first got this card, I was so lit. I was so hyper, y'all. I was so happy that I got this card. If you guys have not watched this video, go ahead and watch my old, old vintage gameplay. When that boy first came out, like two weeks in, he came out. I love that Shaq, man. I love that Shaq. Shaq is my favorite center of all time. Moving on to the big man squad. We got that boy, Baron Davis. We rocking with James Harden, but I, hey, every card that I say I get, I get. So I'm working on that uh, Yao Ming. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm working on that Yao Ming. And I'm going to get that... Uh, actually, I might not... Yeah, I'm going to get Tracy McGrady. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to show you what my uh, plans for my legacy... Man, yeah, I'm going to show you my... Uh, yeah, this is going to be my legacy team video. I'm going to show you what my plans for my legacy team is, man. I'm going to show you what that boy Key got in... Oh, he ain't ran up. But they got a 98 Tracy McGrady for the big man lineup. If I remember, I will put a picture of him up if I can find one. If not, I won't be putting a picture of him up. But if you guys see it, then you see it. If not, then tough nut. Search him up at auction house. Maybe you can find him in your auction house. But we got that boy Michael Finley at the small fort. And we got that boy Chris Bosch. CB1. I love this card. 
He has the buzzer beater ability, which is different. It's, this is exactly what LeBron has. So basically, at the end of the quarter, if the boy Chris Bosh gets the ball, he's going to splash it from anywhere, whether it's half court, full court, fadeaway three, or just in the paint. He's going to make it as a guaranteed bucket. So I love that. It's ve- it actually comes through clutch. It actually comes through clutch when you're in a cl- when you're in a close game. You pull out that boy CB. You come out with that clutch. Man, I'm telling y'all. And then we got that boy Sean Kemp. The Seattle matches for us. The only reason I don't have the Kimmy Matomo because I feel like it's no point in spending that extra uh, eight, eight to seven mil to uh, get a, a center who doesn't ever have better stats. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't get him. But moving on to the shooting line, we got that boy Jason Williams. I mean, moving on to the shooting line, we got that boy Jason Williams, one of the most underrated cards in this game. Tell me if you want to uh, see the most underrated cards in this game, right along with uh, some other videos that I got. Got ideas I got coming out for you, but that is one most underrated cards. Then we got that boy Allen Irison out. Uh, honestly, everyone pretty much has this card, but gameplay wise, I don't really like this card. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. I feel like they could have did Irison a little more cheap. Irison should be a little more cheesy. He does have his dribbling and his handling, but I felt like since EA knew that everyone was going to have this card, they didn't make him overpowered. You know what I'm saying? If everyone's going to have it, they couldn't make him overpowered because then everybody would just be killing each other. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's why they kind of uh, downgraded him a little bit, made him a little worse than AI really would be if he had a 99 card. But uh, I give EA a little bit of slack on I give EA a little bit of slack on that one because they did make it up with Dr. J. But I feel like Irison, man, Irison should have had some type of boost and some type of clutch ability. Every, every, all these cards should have some type of boost. He should have had plus shooting. Uh, King should have had plus defense. But I feel like Irison should have been one of the top masters too because it's Allen Irison, y'all. Allen Iverson deserves respect. He's better than Jason Williams. He's better than Bernard King. He's better than Sean Kemp. And he's better than Vince Carter. I'm sorry to break it down to you. One of the top shooting guards of all time. He gonna need some boots and he gonna need the clutch ability because they done gave it to some, they done gave the clutch ability to uh, freaking Stevie Franchise. You mean to tell me that Allen Iverson can't get it? I don't understand that, but we gonna move on. We got that boy LeBron. Ooh, you already know how much I love LeBron, man. LeBron is my favorite player of all time. So I have to have this card. Have to, have to, have to have this card. Now, I do want that small ball, 99 LeBron, but ah, 50 mil. And I already got out to Jay. And he don't give no boost. Ah, I pass, I pass. I'm gonna have to pass on that one. You know what I'm saying? I ain't for the job double. I ain't for the job 50 on that boy. Now, but we got that boy, Kevin Durant at the power fort. Now, I do plan to get uh, Phil Jackson, the 99 Phil Jackson, to complete my shooting, to give me that full 99 shooting. But uh, to be honest, I think. Nah, nah, actually, no. I was going to say that I might only need a 97, but nah, Kevin Garnett and Rudy Gobert give those boosts, which makes it that 100. But I feel like if I get a 98 in this lineup, uh, maybe my shooting lineup will go up. I don't even know what they have for the shooting power. That's not ever a position that I look up. So I guess we can go quickly look, you know what I'm saying? Once again, we're looking for some legacy pickups. So we got that boy Phil Jackson, the 99. So there is no flat 98, but we do got 97 Magic Johnson. And very soon, very soon, whenever I get the coins to do it, hopefully I could manage to do it before these prices start to spike up. So I feel like Phil Jackson's price is going to start to spike up and it's going to become crazy expensive. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully I could pick him up before then. But besides from that, we got that boy, uh, Daryl Dawkins. Now, I did, I think they threw out a center, right? They threw out, uh, Bill Watts. I didn't get Bill Watts because once again, I don't feel like there's no need to get a center. You don't need to get a center and fill it with another 99 and spend that extra eight to nine mil. When one, I'm never going to try to score with you. And secondly, you're not really that much better than the center I already have. That's why I don't spend that much. See, I got Rudy Gobert over Ming. I got Alonzo Mourning because I'm a Vengeance Heat fan and King. And them dudes came along. You know what I'm saying? Them dudes came along and they're cheap. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to spend like 15 mil on some center that I'm not going to use. But. My plans for my legacy team, I do plan to get Lonzo Ball. I'm ashamed to say it. But if not, I would like, I would like 97 Isaiah Thomas. I don't ever know. I have never seen him in an auction house. And I'm pretty sure when I do, he's going to be like 15 mil or something. Something crazy. Something crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's going to be something crazy when he finally hits the auction house. I don't ever know. 
but I do want that 97 specialist Isaiah Thomas for the two-way lineup, and that will complete my two-way lineup for me. We already got the 100 two-way. Uh, then you already know, if y'all don't know, my boy uh, Official James, he came up with the uh, video of the leaked 99 Julius Erwin for the two-way, so I don't know if I'm going to get Dr. J. Honestly, I like that metal road piece. I might get KD if his price drop, drops down to around 15 million like James Harden did when Francis came out, but I don't know. So my two-way and my small ball is pretty much locked in unless I get Alonzo Ball, but my two-way is 100. My small ball is pretty much locked in. Now my defense is what my defense need a little bit of help. Honestly, I don't want to take out this Shaq, so I do want to fill in this power forward with this Draymond Green. I might get I might get Tim Duncan. I don't ever know. I might get Tim Duncan, and then hopefully, hopefully that can shoot me to that 100, man. That should. It should. 299 and a 97. It should shoot me to that 100. And let's throw out a 99 defensive center, which I hope they do, but I do not want to throw out Shaq, y'all. I do not. I'm not taking out Shaq out of my lineup regardless of anything. For my big man, only thing I need in my big man is that 98 Tracy McGrady. That is target number one for me, y'all. Target ASAP number one for me right now is that 98 Tracy McGrady. I don't know about y'all, but I've got every, pretty much every other card locked in. But that Tracy McGrady is a must cop. That is before that is before I get Dr. J. That's before I get Ming. That Tracy McGrady is a must cop, you guys. I'm getting that 98 Tracy. Especially, I've seen it. I've seen it in the auction house recently for around 22 mil, for around 20 mil. So when that price drops, when uh 99 uh Pistol Pete Mavericks drops, I can't wait to get that. That I can't wait to get 98 Tracy. I can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, my shooter, like I said, my shooting line. I plan to get Phil Jackson, and that's pretty much it. So I plan to get for your boy Kick. I plan to get Phil Jackson. Two-way locked in, small ball locked in, uh, probably Tim Duncan. If you don't boost up my lineup to that 100, I'm just going to put him back in the auction house. Maybe I'll test it out just to see, but I'm going to put him right back in the auction house if he don't even boost up my team. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather rock with this Draymond Green. I'd rather rock with this Draymond Green. And then for the big man, that Tracy in there is going to complete my big man lineup, y'all. And I'm telling you, it's going to be filthy. I think I'm going to hit that 101 lineup before the season ends. That two-way, I mean, that shooting should get to 100. That big man should get to 100. My small balls are 102. So I'm expecting, right now I only have two 100 lineups. I'm expecting to hit that 101. I'm expecting to hit that 101. And that's going to be late. That's probably going to be it for me. I'm not going to hit no 102, y'all. I'm not, I'm not ever going to holler. That's going, you're going to have to buy... I'm going to have to get Lonzo and a couple of other boosted players for, like, my small ball, my defensive. I'm going to have to get that 98 signature defensive center. Tim Duncan, we have to be a center that I get uh, at the shooting guard. Don't they got a 99 different shooting? No, nah, they don't. Yeah, it'll be a heck of many cards that I have to get to get that 102. But that 101 is on the come up. But besides all that, I'm not going to talk for too long. These are just my plans for my legacy team this year. Basically, that's all your boy Kick been doing is just sniping and building up these players, building up my franchise. So next year, you know what I'm saying? I could be flexing. When I hop on and people be like, oh, Kik, why you only got an all-go team when the game first start? I'm going to be like, look what I was rocking with last year. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to slide right over there. Look what I was rocking with last year. Not 101 overall. That's really your legacy. You know what I'm saying? That's really going to be my legacy. But... But besides from all of that, y'all, like and subscribe if you're new. Lit content coming up. Like I said, I got y'all with that top 10 pulls of the week. We still got pulls coming in, and I should be getting started on the video tomorrow. Should be finishing the video by Thursday night, and that video will be out to y'all by Friday morning. Top 10 pulls. This week is Madden Mobile. Next week, it'll be NBA Live Mobile. And then... Yeah, that's it. So if you want to be interested in that, make sure you contact me on Instagram at Kick underscore Nation. Send me your best pulls and tell me whether or not you want your Instagram or your YouTube channel. I will leave any links, anything that you want me to leave in there. I will add to the video visually and in the description. So if you want to sign up for that, enter, DM me, Kick.Nation, or, or Gmail me. My uh, email for that is Kick's Top 10. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I've been talking for way too long. Thank you guys for watching. 
and we out. <laughs>